Author John Gilstrap. John? Good, good morning, sir. Also by Jefferson County Prosecuting Attorney Matt Harvey, who is here in a civilian manner, not a prosecutorial one. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. Glad to be here. And is uh, under that uh, banner, by the way, in uh, which we lead off our program today by asking you for comment on the ruling by the three-judge uh, panel yesterday from the West Virginia Appeals Court. The West Virginia Supreme Court affirmed the decision of the three-judge panel to remove the former commissioners. From Jefferson County. Of Jefferson County with a full. They did so on an expedited basis. I had filed um, a couple of weeks ago a motion to expedite based on the August 13th date. And that's significant. If you're going to place candidates on the ballot to fill spots, it has to be done before August 13th. After that, then the the uh, body that's being appointed to, it doesn't matter the office, that would serve until the next election in 2026. In the law, there's a presumption of in favor of having an elected individual over an appointed individual. I filed based on that reason. The Supreme Court agreed. Uh, we, last Thursday, perfected our response to their appeal. And yet yesterday, uh, about 3 o'clock, we got our, just a one-page order, two-page order, just saying that the ruling of the three-judge panel pretty quickly has been affirmed and that a fuller, detailed opinion would follow. you know when that decision, that appeal uh, detail follows? No, I don't. And, and um, you know, for practical effects, it will, it will help shed some shed some uh, light onto some of the issues that they raised in their appeal and it might be helpful it might be it will be instructive to future office holders about their duties but um i think it's pretty clear that actions have consequences it didn't take the three judge panel very long to find that they had done that they were negligent in their duties and removed them from office and it did not take the supreme court very long to agree with that was their appeal based on procedural issues? Their appeal was based on three things, that the setting of the meetings was incorrect. Uh, they were trying to create, this is their lawyer. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know if this is their argument, but this is certainly their lawyer's argument, that there's some sort of attendance policy for elected officials when they can and can, they can, and can uh, choose to come to work. Um, Based on, which is just counter to case law, statutes, attorney general's opinions, and our West Virginia Constitution. So I was very confident that that argument was going to fall square on its face. Their second argument was uh, the court took a wrongly took a negative inference for their their decision to remain silent during the questioning procedure. Um, I don't think that that has any merit. Clearly, the Supreme Court doesn't either. They mm -hmm. they waived their argument. They didn't they didn't object, so they waived their argument. Uh, even if they even if uh, the three judge panel was incorrect, there wasn't anything gathered from the questions that I posed that wasn't already that they hadn't already put out on Facebook. Mm -hmm. They had just from day one just launched narratives about why they weren't coming. That it was a personal protest against the county commission president because he didn't put something on the agenda that's not the evidence i saw the evidence was that steve stopper didn't have anything to do with that that was the the um, county administrator and then the next excuse was that he couldn't set the that because of something on the website they could he couldn't set the meeting despite it being clear in the code that that he could and then you know seven meetings in a row 10 weeks they refused to come to work and this is separate and apart from the indictments that then followed, right? That's a whole different process. Yes, I have nothing to do with that. Okay. The three-judge panel ruled that Jackson and Krause, by refusing to attend county commission meetings, thereby denying a quorum of the commission, did neglect their duties as elected officials. Final question, Matt Harvey, is there another avenue of appeal for the commissioners at this time? I doubt it. There's no question of federal law here. Uh, no, this is final. This is final. Very good. All right. Thank you, Matt. We appreciate uh, further explanation on that decision, which came down yesterday. And this, of course, also means that the appointed commissioners will then fulfill their role as commissioners throughout the remaining course of this uh, uh, year until uh, election time in November. Let's welcome in our first guests of the day from the Berkeley County Youth Fair, Miss Berkeley County Youth Fair, Haley Silkworth. Good morning, Haley. Good morning. 
And Mary Beth Blair. Good morning, Mary Beth. Howdy. You're much calmer this morning than trying, you were Monday. You're trying. I've well. been working on it. You're doing really well. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, Haley, congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. How many times have you been in the studio here? Because we've had you on before. A mm. couple times? Yeah. I think so, yeah. In a couple different roles? Yes. Yeah. And you are also a champion now, too, correct? I am. Yeah. What do you like to show most? Swine. Swine. And this is, as a swine show, men, that's, or woman, this is where your championship is. Yes. Yeah. When did that take place? That was on Tuesday during the day. Tuesday during the day. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to show a swine in order to be judged the champion? So you start off with showmanship and then you work into your breeding and then your market. So there's age divisions, there's a junior division, intermediate, and then senior. I'm senior. Um, so I went in for um, my showmanship class. I got brought back for the final drive. I was in the final drive, then I was picked as your grand champion, and then I went back in for the overall champions, which was your senior champion, intermediate, and junior champion. And then you judge with that. And then I was overall, and then I went against my previous winner, which was one of my best friends, Mackenzie Phoebus, and I made it into the round robin which is tonight tonight what time six o'clock is the judging entirely on the animal or is it on you or both it's on me it's a showmanship so it's all on how you do the animal okay very good mm -hmm. how many years have you been doing this since i was nine and you are how old now 17 17 are you a senior this year or you already have been a senior i'm going into my senior year where do you go to school spring mills high okay what are you doing next year do you know yet so I will be doing dental hygiene. So I'm doing a jumpstart program this year for my senior year at Blue Ridge. And then I will transfer to Hagerstown and do their dental hygiene program. Oh, very nice. John just had a cleaning last uh, earlier this week. I got, <laughs> oh. I got one Monday. Coming oh, up. it wasn't a cleaning. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It was a mining. It was a fracking. <laughs> when, you, when you left, you said it was a cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, was, it was a mining expedition. Oh, it one was, word. Yeah. Floss. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was the old filling had to be replaced. Yeah. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> oh so, do you want Haley to take a look at it? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. My jaw still hurts from the yeah. Novogaine shot. But, <laughs> I, I'm, right. I'm certain that part of your internship or your or your schooling, you have to provide free um, practice on individuals. Yes, I believe Hagerstown does require that. Oh. Um, they actually. I was looking through like their online stuff and it says that they do like cleanings for like family and I think there that's you how you have to like pass almost to oh, do like this clinics. Is great. Yeah. John? I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am gosh. such a dental phobe. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get to walk around one of those Mr. Suck machines yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, put that in there and just you know, keep that saliva out of there and go to work on them, you know? Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, I hate that. I'm, I'm exhausted at the end of a dental appointment. Oh, that's my, my favorite part of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Herbie the Elf dentist. gets in there, yeah. yeah. So. You're an elf! So, uh, so the showmanship for the swine, is everybody or all of the competitors making the swine do the same thing? Is it like a dog show where they run around the, the, the ring and yeah. pose and all of that? Yes. And, and what makes the difference? Is it, is it the quality of the animal? So for showmanship, it's based on you. So it's how you drive the pig. So when you drive the pig, it's walking with its head up. It's, I, for my quote of the year, it's always showmanship wins at home. So if you work with your animal at home and you really put in the effort and you wanna win, then that's where you're gonna win. And that's what I did all summer. Um, this past year, my market animal had passed away with a sickness from a jackpot show. So I ended up taking my backup pig. Um, so I was determined. I said, this is a rough start, so I want to win. <laughs> and that's how it is. So it's all on how you drive your pig and the movement to the judge. You ha always have to keep the pig between you and the judge. You never want to cross the judge. And I think that's very important. Cool. So how big, is, I mean, there are pigs and they're like pigs that are the size of small cars. Hogs. So <laughs> yeah. How, how, so how big is the pig that? you were dealing with my market hog is 250 pounds that's what we weighed in at is there a difference between a pig and a hog no it's the same thing it's just a different term right. same thing <laughs> and by market of course that means tomorrow night 
Haley will be selling hers yes um, along with all the other exhibitors who have market animals and that's a big event as most people in our community know the livestock auction is where we get a chance as business community uh, residents to go out and show our support by buying their animals that they've worked so hard to raise and and so that's you're definitely um, hoping to bring as the sh it, it does help I know I mean not only is it a honor to be mm -hmm. the grand uh, but when they go into the ring the buyers are looking at the top winners I'm yes. sure yeah so when you do the round robin tonight that's that's four different animals yeah right. I believe so yeah are so they all have... yours no so the I don't know exactly who picks but they bring in animals but we do not pick Haley is it difficult to auction off an animal that you've raised and spent so much time caring mm -hmm. for um i would say yes um but i've grown up to be like this is a good cause and i'm thankful for the supporters of the fair because without them like nothing would be possible did, for the fair do you did you grow up on a farm i didn't we've always kept it with like my breeder like this year i'm at my breeder's house um but it's always at a different farm what's the name of your hog um uno uno so how do you, how do you command Uno? What what kind of commands does uh, does Uno listen to? Mm. Like what do you say when you want him to turn left or right <laughs> or whatever? So we have a stick. It's a, called a whip, mm -hmm. and that's what you use. You just have to practice with that. But Uno does love pop tarts. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker for the pop tart. Who what's, doesn't? what's his favorite one, or just any pop tart? Strawberry. Yeah, everybody loves strawberry. So that does Frosted? that equate to like when Uno becomes. A market animal sold is it going to make him sweeter oh that's a good one <laughs> i was told that by mikey withrow back in 2020 he he instructed me he's like when i was trying to decide who's to bid on he said well this one i know this family sometimes uses uh, marshmallows to train so it makes for a sweeter pig in the end i was like okay that's it i want a sweet pig <laughs> i like it so, so once you've as you're raising the pig and you know this is the one you're going to show mm -hmm. Does it get special treatment from among the other pigs? Does it sleep inside instead of outside? Does it have, probably not that, but is there special treatment for that pig in the run up to the show? It definitely gets special treatment. Um, we have our barn set up this year, how they can go in and out whenever they need to. Um, but lovable wise, yes, definitely special treatment because if the more you work with that animal and the more you care for it, the better you're gonna do. I'm told pigs have good personalities. They do. They're very smart. Yeah, and very unique, too. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So what was the difference between your main pig, which uh, passed away uh, from the disease, versus the backup pig? I will say my first pig really meant a lot to me. When my breeders posted um, their litter, I was like, this is the pig I want. Mm -hmm. this, this is, I was determined that this pig was going to win the entire show, and then when we went to our first jackpot show and it got sick, I was like, oh no, like we gave it the medicine it needed and we thought it was going to be fine, nothing too terrible. And then we went out the next day and that's when we found it. And I was very, very upset, but mm -hmm. I knew that there's always a rhyme to the reason. So I feel like it was with a purpose and my backup pig came in and fulfilled that position. Will you be heading to the state fair? I will not actually so my market pig that passed away that I was going to take was going to be sold at Berkeley and then we were going to take the back up to state fairs so now that we don't have my main pig we're just going to sell off my backup one that would be a good t-shirt by the way my main pig my main pig <laughs> oh my god I like that I like wow. that you could patent that you know yeah. Sell those t-shirts. I like that. How busy have you been this week? <laughs> being a showman I'm with and second. <laughs> being Miss Berkeley County Youth Fair. I mean, this has changed your whole week compared to previous years, right? It's super busy. Um, the past queen, Amelia Dugan, told me, rest when you can if you even get a chance. So Yeah. <laughs> but it's super busy, but it's a lot of fun, and it's something that I'm super grateful for. I don't know if you guys know, but this was my third year doing it. My first year I was second runner up, mm -hmm. last year I was first runner up, and now I'm queen. So I was determined to win this year, and I couldn't have done it with um, Jalen Ratchford, Miss West Virginia 2021, I believe. Mm -hmm. She actually has a business where she helps pageant people um, work on their public skills and help you 
um, do good in your interviews and pageant and all that fun stuff. Um, so she helped me with that. And then I also got on a Zoom call with Rashawn Dozier. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he had help with me for interviews. Um, he actually judged the Frederick County Fair. So he was a great help to, like, what a judge might look for. Um, so I, it's great help. I didn't know he had judging skills. Yeah. So he was – I didn't know that either. Um, his daughters are part of my 4-H club. Cool. And I walked up to him because I knew he was a great guy and I knew what he was. And I was like, would you be interested in helping me? And he was like, yeah, I actually judge a Frederick County Fair. I believe it was. He also serves on the board of the Miss West Virginia organization. Oh, so. I didn't know that. Yeah. We yeah. had uh, him on the show a few years back. It's been a little while. Um, but, uh, yeah, good guy. Uh, yes. So, uh, Haley, what, uh, how does the rest of the week wrap up for you after your competition this evening? Um, so tomorrow we'll get ready. So they'll release all the breeding stock. Um, so breeding animals and then all the indoor exhibits that you see in the nice AC building <laughs> will be all removed and we'll get ready to decorate, um, for Friday night, which is the auction and prepare, prepare that. And then we have an awesome buyer's reception for our buyers, um, for all they do for the youth. Um, so we have a dinner and we thank them, walk around, um, chit chat a little bit, and then we'll end up selling our animals. Do you, are you going to the wrestling match on Saturday? <laughs> I will probably be there. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe this is a question for Mary Beth. Sure. Do you know what the, what the highest amount paid for an animal was last year? Oh my gosh. Oh, I think it, it uh, got close to 20 grand for one of the uh, beef, for one of the steers. It was close to, I've, I've been in the room when there have been that high of a price on mm -hmm. the, the grand. Well, it's, a, it's an election year. And it is an election year, but you know what? Uh, there definitely will be, I'm sure politicians uh, there, but there are regular businesses. There's a couple in particular, and one of the ones that comes to my mind is Virginia Riggers and they, I'm telling and Bucky's is a local organization, um, a local car, uh, I don't know what, you know, remodeling, refinishing business. They come in and they drop 20, 30, 40 grand on all their animals. I mean, like every other, I feel like every other uh, yeah. animal is Bucky's or uh, Virginia Riggers. I mean, this is something that they're passionate about more so than. I mean, they will there will be some politicians. So these are charity <laughs> prices, not market prices. Correct. I mean, okay. clearly, there. I mean, I mean, yes. I'm not a farmer, but no, I was considering no, no. going into no. it for twenty thousand dollars <laughs> first year. <laughs> right. No, no. Because I, I mean, I just bought a, a half a steer from my brother-in-law who raises them, and I did. I can tell you, I did not pay yeah. ten nor twenty thousand right. for that half a steer. But no, this is definitely investment that they, because clearly they get a write-off for purchasing an animal because the check is made to the Berkeley County Youth Fair, and then they write the check to the um, exhibitor, they, you get most of the money. I think the only small teeny tiny portion that the fair gets is for processing because they line up mm -hmm. processing for all the purchases. If you buy, you can choose from where you want it to be processed and that fee has to be paid right out of your commission. So we have all this focus on Miss Berkeley County Youth Fair and then the school year is going to start. Mm -hmm. So in I don't know, middle school year, a few months from now, what will your duties be, ongoing duties, just months from now as, as the queen or as, as Miss Youth Fair? I plan to get in classrooms. Um, that hasn't really been a thing um, for the youth like queen. Mm -hmm. um, so I That's like great. to teach them about the fair, what agriculture is, great. the different animals. Um, so that's my plan this year. And then um, I plan to be in all the parades for Berkeley County, Jefferson County, wherever. Um, and then I will actually go to the state contest fairs and festivals and represent the youth fair, which I'm super excited about. And, and that's in January or I February sometime so. early next year? Uh, yes. I know it's cold when it happens. <laughs> Mary Beth, yes, I've got sir. four minutes oh, remaining. Gosh. Do you okay. have any other champions or uh, previewing of other things this weekend that you wanted to do on the last Saturday of the Youth Fair? Absolutely. I mean, 
be watching our Facebook page for weather updates if you're wondering whether things are open. Clearly that's going to impact the next two days. It looks like Saturday will be clear and open, which is good. The weather looks to be cooperating for the demo derby Saturday night and the pro live wrestling. Even in the rain, the, the, the exhibitors will still be there indoors, so you could still come out for that. Um, there's so much to do at the fair. Great food vendors, commercial vendors, always nightly activity. So if you haven't had your fair experience, your fair fix yet, there's still three days left, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Hey, Haley, what's your favorite fair food? The sausage sandwich and the sweet tea. Yes. Oh my gosh, I ha I'm sorry, I got very passionate. <laughs> There's that energy. Last night, I, I always get the tenderloin sandwich at the Young Farmers concession. So last night, someone said, have you never gotten the sausage? I tried it, and I'm definitely a it's fan. It's so good. Oh my it's gosh. It's so good. Mild, hot, or sweet? Sweet. 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 Oh it's my so gosh. Sweet. It's so good. I can't wait. That, um, that's what I'm looking forward to going back to this week, is to get another sausage sandwich. <laughs> and sweet tea. <laughs> Sorry, it, you know I should have brought enough for everyone. We'll have to see what we can do. I, what it could have should. We only have a tomorrow. If I go down there tonight, I'll bring them, deliver them to you tomorrow morning. They are unbelievable. That, I won't be here tomorrow morning. <laughs> we'll come out to the fair tonight. Do you I have to come out to the fair? Do you though. have yeah. your special water this morning, Matt? This? No, no. <laughs> People, you know, I got questions about that after that show last week. Well, uh, maybe I should become an affiliate marketer. Maybe, <laughs> maybe do some He's product. He's an influencer. In, it's, it's, at the, it's at the house. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is the what does this water do again? It's hydrogen it's water. Hydrogen, hydrogen water. Hydrogen water. Have you heard of this? I went home and I did the research. And you're skeptical. I, yes. <laughs> but it can't hurt you. It can't hurt you. No. But there's there has shown that uh, there could be benefits from drinking it. it yes. Have you heard about this water, Haley? What's it called? Hydrogen yeah. water. It's a. Wow. It puts extra hydrogen in the water. Okay. Yeah, you, you'll live to be like 125 if you drink this stuff every day. It makes it H3O. Really? H3O. It changes the whole <laughs> equation. So you do you just yeah. buy that like at Walmart or like no, do you have to order it? You have to get in the algorithm online and get sucked in. And <laughs> 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 just ask. He's the influencer. He'll, and, he'll sell it. He's uh, probably selling it, right? Oh, my gosh. No, I'm not. No, no. It, 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 it's a bottle that has a – it's really cool because it, yeah. it's very it has pretty. a blue light. And you see the bubbles come up. It yes. in, infuses it into it. Yeah, wow. puts on quite the show. You might have to show me this. Now I'm interested. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish I would have brought it then. Right. Yeah. But I got made fun of last time so viciously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. I barely participated. It was mostly John. <laughs> but you did bring it up again today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I did notice it was missing. I, I honestly just forgot it this morning. Uh, Haley, enjoy your uh, your r remaining parts of your week and the upcoming year where you will be Thank Miss Berkeley so County much. Youth Fair Queen. Next it's year, you'll hand that off. Right? Yes, yes. And she'll still be, how many more years do you have left to show? She still has several years. Yeah, so uh, you age out at 21, and I'm only 17. So Just I still a, have a couple more, but yeah. being queen is such an honor, and it's, when I was queen, I was like, man, I'm never going to want to give this up because I just want to keep representing the fair. But I know that the next person next year will do an amazing job. So. And you worked hard to get here. Yes. Never give up. That's what I tell the exhibitors. Um, if you're competing for the queen, never give up. Yeah. Haley, I look forward to seeing you try hydrogen water the next time that we see you. <laughs> I'll bring that in my next interview. It Maybe. Might, awesome. might put you out of business as a dental hygienist. Wow. Maybe. Wow. Strength I didn't think teeth. about that. Just don't do it in a closed room, all that hydrogen. <laughs> Advertise that while I'm working on teeth. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary Beth.